Hey everybody, Elizabeth Ellis here. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, first and foremost, always, thank you so much for all of your support um, and all just any questions that you're having or really just, it, I really appreciate all the interactions and the support with this unique. What I think I feel most wonderful about is that the, like you all, women that I look up to and I respect and I, you know, I think highly of love this product as well. And so it's not like I've picked something to really stand behind that everybody's like, eh. no, everybody's like, we're loving it. And I'm loving it. Like I'm, I think you all know, I love it. <laughs> so, um, today what I'm actually going to do, I'm, this could be a total disaster because I'm going to show a product that I've never, I've literally never ever used it before, but I bought one because you know, I have my cream foundation and my powder foundation. Those I feel like give great coverage. The cream foundation especially is the one that I've been going to. It's hot right now. It is 90 some degrees and we're going to Las Vegas next week where it's 111 right now, currently at 835 in the morning. I'm not trying to wear heavy makeup. Like that does not sound appealing to me. Like, no, I need, what I like to go to is a BB cream and I've used drugstore BB cream for a long time and I've really, really liked it. But it, um, I don't know. It just wasn't, it wasn't the bomb for me, but I did like it. And so unique has their own BB cream. It's called BB flawless. Like seriously, I'm still in the box about it. BB flawless. I'm using the color. This is honey. I don't even know if this is the right color for me. Like, I just picked it up yesterday. Um, and we're going to see. And I'm also going to be using, so to put this on, uh, I'm going to use all all uh, unique products. Namely because I don't have any other sponges to do this with. So there's these things called blending buds. Oh, mine are gross. I'm sorry. They're, I've been using them. <laughs> but anyways, they actually are supposed to be purple and pink, but I haven't washed them. You get a little one for when you're doing your work in here. And I've actually even used it with powders. Name, I just kind of smooth powders out, but it works best apparently on cream. So we're going to find that out today. And then this one is the purple one. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I have to wash it. But this one is for like your big areas. You use the tip to get in like up here and to define the big side to spread. Okay, so here's what they tell you with the blending buds. Instead of wasting your money with makeup, because you know when you use a sponge, and it doesn't matter what kind of sponge, once you put it in your makeup, you really only get like 40% of your makeup, 50%, because the sponge sucks up the rest. And it's like, okay, I paid $30 for that. Or it, I don't really, I don't even care if I paid a dollar for it. I'm like, give me my dollar. <laughs> so what they tell you is to soak it in water. So I have my bowl of water. Just roll it around in water and then squeeze it out real good. So that way, like, it's not going to absorb any of my BB cream that I'm going to try right now. And I'm going to officially open the package. I've got it open. Here's the very first time it's coming out of the box. I hope this is not disastrous. I don't think it will be because I really, their products I've been loving. So two methods, and I know two methods because I've been watching YouTube videos about this. Two methods of putting this on. You can either squirt directly onto your sponge, or you can put it on your hand and then dip. And I'm going to do that method. So I'm going to put a little bit here. I don't know how much I need. I'm, I don't know. We're going to find out. And that actually is pretty, it's a nice thickness. It's not super runny. That was what, that's a major fear of mine. Another BB cream I used to add that. So I'm going to dip in here. Okay, let's go for it. And so I'm going to tap, 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 tap all around first. Ooh, this color might be a little light, but I wonder if my bronzer, like if I get in there with my bronzer, I can make it work. Well, that's kind of nice. So with this BB cream, the BB Flawless, it says it will protect your skin, which is something that's important to me. We've talked about how I'm getting older. And so I want to protect my skin from the harsh realities of the world. 
No, but from dirt, from the sun, from really just anything getting into my pores. Because once something gets into my pores, it is like acne city. And I'm not trying, no, I'm not trying to be a grown up standing in front of her high schoolers with a big old zit literally anywhere on my face. Hmm. Okay, let me do my, I'm going to, I just dipped again, so I got the rest off. See, it might be a little light for my skin, but I think, like I said, with a bronzer, it's not going to be a problem because you know how I like to get carried away with my bronzer. You can also swipe, and if I'm going to swipe, I'm swiping with the peaked side. Okay. Light coverage. Let's see the difference. Come here, computer. Okay. Coverage. Nice. Mm -hmm. You can still see my freckles, but it's definitely... Evened out a skin tone. Where to this side? Look at all those freckles. Oh my god, look at those eyebrows. Kim, help me. Perfect. So it's what I'm looking for. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do the outside. Do you guys have time for this? I hope so. Oh, six minutes. <laughs> we do not have time for that. I'll do another video later of it. So here it is, BB Flawless. Now it does just give a really nice coverage. Like that works for me. Hey, right on. I like it. Perfect. Any questions, let me know. Otherwise, right on. Have a good day.